Hi, welcome to our tutorial. Want to efficiently ace your presentations with D5 render and effortlessly toggle between environments? You're in the right spot. If you're feeling unsure about creating realistic materials, lighting, or post-processing effects in a tight schedule, D5 Render is perfectly designed for you. It's all about speed and simplicity. With D5 Render, you can apply materials effortlessly using the preloaded materials from D5's asset library. Use D5 scatter presets to conveniently place vegetation in the scene and adjust visual effects in a snap with D5 Studio's presets. Take advantage of D5's built-in AI tools to streamline your workflow and boost productivity. We'll walk you through how to create this project from the ground up. Let's jump right into it. Click the Import button to import the project model into D5 Render. Click Align Coordinate to snap the model to its original position. Press F8 to activate the two-point perspective. Adjust the focal length to 30 millimeters in the upper right corner. Find a suitable angle in the scene. Then save the current view by clicking the pluses button. D5 Render provides a corresponding camera controller for each scene. Simply click on the camera button and change the aspect ratio to 16-9, then click the same button again to exit camera mode. Let's start by assigning suitable materials from D5 Asset Library to the model with one click. Assign Dry Deciduous Woodland 2 to the ground and adjust its UV scale on the right panel. Use Dark Gravel Ground to the path. Assign irregular stone wall to the building's base, walls, and chimney. Assign lightweight concrete to the pool structure. Assign calm water cyan to the pool surface. Assign black iron to the platform edges, window frames, railings, and the chimney base. Assign tawny antiseptic wood, too, to the flooring. Assign tile floor 8 inches to the walls. Assign brown stone slate roof 01 to the roof. Assign normal glass to the large floor to ceiling windows. Assign white concave convex wall paint 02 to the interior walls. Return to the saved perspective by clicking the scene. We just spent a few minutes finishing the materials. Similarly, you can use the D5 model library to add furniture and enrich the building's interior. We'll skip the furniture placement for now and move on. Next, we'll set up the environment for the current perspective. Navigate to D5 Studio D5 Curated where we've prepared an array of different weather presets for both interiors and exteriors of eye level or aerial views. For this project, double-click to apply the Outdoor Daylight preset. Feel free to tweak environmental parameters if you want to further enhance the scene. Here, we rotate the HDRI to find a better sunlight angle. Turn on the fog. And find tune post-processing settings like exposure. Remember to save the settings by clicking the Update Scene button. Open the D5 Asset Library, go to the Scatter category, and select the Wild Grassland preset. Click behind the house to create a grass-filled scatter area with one click. Repeat this step for the front of the house using another grass preset. You can also manually add plants. For example, to add trees behind the house, Click the scatter icon at the top toolbar to create a scatter surface. Proceed to the content panel, choose trees from the asset library, and add them to the scene. Adjust density, scale, and other parameters as needed. Done. It's super flexible. Returning to the set perspective, if you notice any empty areas in the background, you can add plants to fill those spaces. 
Start by clicking the Path tool at the top. Select your preferred plants and draw a path to place them where you want. After that, adjust the density, scale and other parameters on the right panel. At this stage, we are almost done with the scene. Let's add a few final touches. Place some backdrop planes to enhance glass reflections. Add natural rock models to the lawn to make it look more realistic. Place a few extra trees to create natural shadows and add depth to the scene. At this point, we've used a variety of D5's official presets to create a high-quality scene. Finally, switch to image mode to render an image at your preferred resolution. If you want to create an animation, go to video mode. Set up your camera movements and render your animation effortlessly. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.